Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So, hope you guys are all having a great day. So, yes, before anybody says it, because I know people will, um, he is only in green tier. You're right. You got me. All right. But here's the thing. Um, I've been asked a lot to do a video on him just to talk about spells, some gameplay. Um, yes, he's only in green tier. This event, I after, like, prizes go out, I was kind of waiting for him. Fortunately, they're not out. Who knows? Um, it's still PG. I will have him to gold. You'll see I have 19 million XP banked on him uh, just from doing the 3 XP runs daily. So I will have him up to hopefully gold max and then do another video on him. So you'll see the progression. Um, but I just want to talk about the spells really, really quickly. Alright. So Equester is the sorcerer for this event. Sorry, not this event. For this season. Uh, you can get him in the season prizes. Actually, you know what? I might as well go and show you guys. Uh, so if you go to whatever event is live right now, what you can do is... You see these four tabs at the top about prizes and ranks, season, and armory. What you can do is you can click on season, and there's this nice thing right here that shows the four different places you can go. Currently, you have Avix, then you have Equester, then you have Laos, and you have Boost, and then you have the special two that aren't out yet. Um, go to Equester, and then here you go. You can see I'm um, here on him right now. I will have rune videos out, by the way, for all these dragons once I get confirmation from some higher level players. Uh, who already have them and have runes set on. So, give me some time on that, but I will be getting that out shortly. Alright? Shortly meaning, like, within the next couple weeks. Alright? So, yeah. So, that's where you go. You can claim him. I think he's, like, right here or something. No. Right here? No. Right? No? Okay, well, this is not good. Where is he? He's somewhere. Alright, there, there he is. There he is. There he is. Okay. Anyway, so you can do that. You can get sigils from chests. Whatever you, if you haven't seen, if you want, if you don't uh, still, under, if you still, oh my, if you still don't understand it, I made an entire video on how to get divines. Uh, check it out. So Equester's spells. All right, you got Thunderbolt, which strikes buildings with lightning that chains randomly. Now this is a little okay. So the difference between this and normal chain lightning. All right, chain lightning. There's research that increases its hits by two, so you can hit up to um, I think six or seven buildings at a time with chain lightning. So, Thunderbolt only will hit up to four towers, but also it'll do decreased damage on top of that. So, it's a white spell, but it's also, it hits less towers, and also it deals less damage than normal Chain Lightning, but it's a white spell. Not to mention, guys, you do have these runes uh, in his line right here. So, I, I this might take a couple of seconds because I do have a decent amount of runes. Um, there are runes in his line that actually increase the amount of, um, like, Chain Lightning Bolts that hit which is kind of nice um let me find it really really quickly i'm i'm sorry for this uh let's see really quickly uh rune of storms right here you'll see the secondary modifier is thunderbolt change plus one so i'm not sure if the mythic will have like plus two or something like that it'd be nice but we'll have to see it's still pg all right so you got thunderbolt lightning you got extract essence now this is basically it gives you a spell depending on what building you kill last um, buildings that are killed killed by the shadow do count, um, so be wary of that. But I will show you guys kind of like some of the basics of that when we're actually flying through bases. Um, he is only going around checking other channels. Okay, I'm getting roasted apparently. Um, so you have Lightning Familiar, which is basically like, if you have Apathet, then he's basically like Apathet, except I don't, he doesn't, he doesn't uh, intake as much damage. Basically, he doesn't, like, absorb as much damage as Apathet Shadow does. However, his rage generation, and you'll see it, is insane. It's plus 50% with no runes. So, with runes, it's pretty freaking strong. Like, 10 out of 10, though. I'd rather have this than Apathet Shadow, to be honest. Um, this can die, apparently, so be wary of that. But he gains so much rage, it's crazy. Uh, and you'll see that. I'm definitely, I'm thinking about putting on some rage runes as well. But I'm debating on whether it's worth it or not. Um, so yeah, I'll have to, cons I mean, I'm thinking about that right now, so keep that in mind as well. And then, of course, you have Lightning Resist. Now, Lightning Familiar also, by the way, does, it does, um, attack. So, again, for those, that actually was asked a lot. It does attack buildings. It also increases your damage as well. Um, so yeah, so overall, that is a quester. Currently, he's at 631,000 attack power. Um, and yeah, let's go and start hitting some actual bases. Now, I'm gonna look for some bases that are longer, um, because... Honestly, he's not going to be able to take out, like, green tier attacking level 150s with the way that uh, these, like, you know, contacts things, not contacts, these, uh, the way your, 
bases work now in terms of like which ones show up. It's actually it's kind of annoying to try and get bases. So let's go in and use it on this guy. All right. So this is a 129 um, XP base. I didn't actually mean to click uh, get on this one, but you know what that works. So let's see. Let's get here, and this actually gives you. I believe it's called Northern. It's either Southern Light. Yeah, it's Southern Lights. And basically, what it does is it kills all buildings and it gives you rage. Um, back cannons give you uproot. All right, and that is a two uh, rage spell. I believe it gives you health, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but overall, all right, I know a lot of people want to hear this. So again, just want to clarify before I say anything. It is my opinions. All right, you're right. It is my opinions. It's not fact. You are very so right. Um, but here's the thing, okay? From what I've seen, he's the best. All right, here's the thing with Leos. At higher levels with defenders, Leos isn't going to be killing anything. Okay, with people spamming heals, he's not going to. I'm sorry, but I know there's people that really like warriors. That's okay. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, like, you shouldn't be getting him. All I'm saying is, when you're asking me what my opinions are uh, for the best dragon, I think a quester is... Avix, I feel like, is pretty weak. I re Well, not pretty weak, but his uh, his abilities are not the best, in my opinion, from what I've seen. I really wish... And now, of course, guys, this is, these are level... What towers? Level almost 30 towers. And level 30 towers, by the way, were the ones that were at... Um, that were max level 1 platinums were the top tier. So keep that in mind. This guy's only a green tier dragon. All right? So he did decently well. Um, here were level 35 towers. He wasn't going to do that well anyway. Um, but yeah, overall, I feel like he's currently the best dragon. Leos, again, he looks really good, right? They, like, overall, look-wise, every single dragon in the season, like, 10 out of 10. Eight, uh, Equester looks really sick. Like, I, li I like a lot. Um, I like him a lot in terms of his look. So, he has, you know, two heads, and then he has the flames in the back, which is really nice. Um, Leos is a lion, of course, so that looks really cool. Uh, like a beast, and then... You have Avix, which is more of like a hunter gladiator type dragon, which I kind of like. Um, so, you know, overall, like, it's sol it's solid designs. Um, so props to PG for doing that. But again, all right, Warriors at higher end game gameplay. And I asked uh, Dreadnought, by the way. This isn't just me saying it. I asked Dreadnought, is Moonfang good? Um, and a couple people from Dreadnought said, no, he's not good with defenders. And again, I'm just trying to clarify. PG can do all they want with uh, Warriors. You'll notice that they're giving them passes to increase their damage, all right? The problem with Warriors is that they don't do a lot of damage. They tank a lot, don't get me wrong, but they don't deal enough damage to kill towers. So they're literally just sitting there, and they're, you know, they're basically sitting ducks, all right? Um, so I kind of messed up on this run because for some reason, oh, I didn't hit this. That's why. Um, unfortunately, I can't really hit people that are super low level or, like, people that are around this level because the stupid matchmaking um you know what let's do this all right i wish i could cut because but i can't unfortunately um uh whatever wait what am i doing all right let's do gold league all types done oh yeah i'm sorry 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 uh by the way guys try to um sorry so outlaws currently is recruiting if you're level 200 or above and want to join a diamond 2 team that has atlas as well as um like, it's a really good team, guys. I'm having a lot of fun. I haven't been into the game as much as I have, um, like, in the past couple days. Like, it's been crazy. I've, I've really enjoyed playing the game. Um, so, I appreciate them letting me join. Uh, but, yeah. So, if you want to join, level 200 or 300. 300 preferably, but they're also looking for 200s. Um, so, yeah. If you want to join a diamond team, hit me up. Like, send me a message in game, and then I will um, tell you or send you to Curly or Cherry. Just meet him. That will be the end of it. Oh, no, world. Okay. Okay. I think I'm still getting roasted, but that is okay. All right. Sky's the limit. So let's go and attack this person right here. Uh, sorry if you're watching this. I actually hit a person who was um, watching one of my videos, and they said, hey, you know what? You attack me. And they attacked me back. I was like, okay. Well, whatever. All right. So here we go. So again, overall, I feel like Equester is pretty good. Um, I feel like he's decent. Also, this is... What in the world? What in the world is that? I'm so confused right now what that was, but okay. Um, so yeah, but watch his rage, alright? Watch his rage. Look how fast that's going up. 
that's pretty crazy to be honest. It's really good for a sorcerer because again, you know, you want you need rage to use their spells. And um I think overall, it's a pretty powerful combination. In like you basically have something. It's not okay, it's not Dodo Guardian, all right? Just so you guys know, this is not a Dodo Guardian. Okay? This is 100% not Dodo. But he's decent. He's decent. The uh summon is, all right? And again, I'm not flying him too well. I should be getting different spells. Uh, but again, keep in mind, he's only 600,000, uh, and then, you know, you have, it's still a sorcerer. <sighs> so, yeah, overall, my opinions on him, I think he's really good. Um, I know people aren't going to like him, and I know people are going to say sorcerers suck, hunters always are going to win, um, and normally they do, it just really depends on the sorcerer and the hunter you're talking about, and Avix currently, in my opinion, like, let me know down in the comments, alright? Let me know down in the comments what you think, but currently... Who I don't I don't know about Avix being better, um, because Talon Frenzy I think should be one rage. I feel like I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. But either way, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one once I get this guy leveled up some more. So yeah, peace out, guys.